It's match day number four in the World Rugby Under-20s Championship with the Argentine city of Rosario hosting the closing stages of the 2019 edition. Six countries will play at the Old Regions Club today, while the remaining six will do battle here at the Racecourse Stadium, including the much-anticipated semi-finals. This is the second time that Argentina hosts, with them looking to make history by reaching their first ever championship final. This annual event began in 2008 and has seen just four different nations hoisting the trophy in 12 years, New Zealand, England, South Africa and France. In the ninth place semi-finals though, Scotland will play an Italian side who just lost to England by one point in the earlier rounds, while Fiji take on Georgia who produced a magical come from behind victory over Scotland just five days ago. Ireland will meet rivals England for the second time in this tournament, having beaten them 42-26 in the pool stages. England miss out on a semi-final for only the third time in history. Both New Zealand and Wales drop one of their pool matches to end up in the fifth place semi-final today. And three teams from the Southern Hemisphere make up the top four spots with hosts Argentina on the verge of history when they collide with the informed Junior Wallabies from Australia. Then defending champions France face the only beaten team in the competition, the Junior Springboks, who knocked out New Zealand a few days ago. It's New Zealand v Wales in the fifth place semi final of the 2019 World Rugby Under 20s Championship from the Racecourse Stadium in Rosario. These sides have been at eight occasions in competition history, with New Zealand winning all but one of those. I'm Dallas Stanford, and join me for this one is New Zealand rugby legend Carl Tanana. Welcome, KT. Oh, buenos dias. Good morning. Dallas S. Keanu, Kiridu Symes, and Darwi Lake go through the coin toss. They come into this game with very different momentum. Wales, a great win versus Fiji in the last game of pool play and New Zealand a hard loss versus South Africa but both captains will know speaking to their teams about ball security because conditions this morning in Rosario are very treacherous. New Zealand head coach Craig Philpott has named seven different starters from his side that lost to the Junior Springboks five days ago. There are three changes in the forwards through Tama T. Williams, Tane Punchy, and the active loose forward Kalen Boshier. The backline sees the injection of Harpak, Tofu Funaki, and outside Senton Quintupaya, and expects some explosive running from Lamalilo, Lamalilo, and Scott Gregory. Welsh coach Gareth Williams has also made several changes following their win over Fiji in their last pool round match. Four forwards come into the side, including front rowers Kelsey Mathias and Ben Warren. Morgan Jones is wearing number four, while Lennon Gregains has recovered from his injury. Winger Ryan Combia and outside centre Max Llewellyn both get starts for this important fixture today. New Zealand have a deep bench, which includes Super Rugby's Eteni Nana Satoru, while Wales welcomes the return of Harry Morgan to their squad. And with player welfare in mind, World Rugby is trialling a new substitute policy, which will see coaches select eight players from the reserves there out of 28, though 16 through 18 must be front row subs, and any five of the others can be used. New Zealand and Wales challenge each other in the fifth place semi final at the 2019 World Rugby Under 20s Championship in Argentina. It's welcome to the Racecourse Stadium for these two nations, both missing out on the semi finals through one pool loss each. New Zealand defeated Georgia 45 13 and Scotland 52 33, but were outplayed by South Africa going down 25 17 in their final pool fixture. Wales started the tournament off with a superb 30-25 victory over Argentina. They beat Fiji 44-28, but it was a physical battle with France that saw them lose 32-13 to the defending champions. The men from NZ, the most successful team in the tournament so far in 12-year history with six titles from seven finals. This year, though, it's only the second time they failed to make the semi-finals. The first was in England in 2016. Wales' best finish was in 2013, claiming a silver medal after losing 23-15 to England in that final. They also played third in 2012 and fourth in 2008. Well, we're going to go downstairs for the national anthems of New Zealand and Wales.
can see the passion from both these sides. Such an honor to be on the field representing their country and singing the anthems. And now Wales are set to face the challenge from New Zealand, the Haka. So far, which players have impressed you, Katie? Well, for me, for New Zealand, the guy in the number nine jersey, Tofa Funaki, is powerful. He's got vision. He's a great game manager. He's a guy who would be dangerous, especially around the ruck in this sort of situation where the weather is going to be a determining factor. And for this Welsh team, look for the open side. Tommy Raffle, he's great over the ball, created a lot of turnovers, and he will be one to look out for today. He's going to be all amongst the tough stuff. And it is going to be tight, no doubt about that, Dallin. And the use of the bench is going to be the thing for me that both coaches will have to negotiate throughout not only this game, but this tournament still going forward. A lot on this line, and there's a lot of firepower from both teams. Our referee for this clash is Christopher Ridley from England. He'll be in charge. Tomas Bartasa from Argentina assisted. And Nika Amashu Kelly from Georgia as well. It's 10.30 local time. Temperature 11 degrees Celsius. It's Wales on the radio screen in red. New Zealand in black to receive. <laughs> Wales face New Zealand in the fifth place semi-final of the under 20 championship from the Racecourse Stadium in Rosario and it's New Zealand on the left of your screen that pick up first position just outside their 22 the men in black Munaki goes with a box kick to the halfway line it's Wales with an early chance see what sort of counter-attack they can mount there Johan Davis with the collect they go up the middle with Matthias Man from Scarlet's rugby. These conditions will certainly come into play as these teams try to spread the pill. Moving it through their captain. Okay, advantage. Tackle off the ball by Black, yes. Little chip over the top. We'll see that come into play here from both these sides. Lovely collect there. Tommy Reffel getting straight into the action. No advantage coming. Tackle off the ball by there Black. There was advantage there, tackling off the ball. So Wales will get the early penalty. Yeah, great start by Wales. Wasn't it? It was Six. nicely taken. By Johan Davis. Back and then the from ball. there. A little bit of continuity. Shifting the ball in the tackle too. So New Zealand already can see their line speed is a lot better than their last game. So there's something they've obviously identified to try and apply the pressure. But tackling off the ball. Discipline's going to have to be at the premium. Because any shots at goal, any points on offer will be taken. Now, this is a nice tackle. Yeah, you good there. Thank yeah. you. Line with front man. Must have been the previous ruck before that, maybe. 
Closer, please. Three closer. Wales. Prime opportunity yeah, strike good. here. Captain Lake. Two pods. They shift around a bit and go to the back. It's tapped down. Not clean possession, so advantage knocked on by Wales. Advantage here for New Zealand. So they shift it across. Advantage over. And they get to Pyre. The man who led that haka goes downtown. Ryan Conbeer. Oh, it's tricky one to handle for the winger, and it's these conditions that really, as you said, will have an impact. Yeah, always going to be difficult, especially with his back turn from Conbeer there. Sliding on this artificial turf too, so the wingers will have to be aware that those kicks are going to be coming to their sides. They're going to have to work as a back three with the two back wingers in the forward. That is a nice kick from Quinn Tupaya. Good recognition from him. These similar conditions that Wales became the first side to beat New Zealand in the championship in 2012, ending a 21 match unbeaten streak from the Kiwis. Crouch! They'll be hoping that could get them through on this occasion. Because New Zealand has certainly struggled. Hooker pre -engaged. They get the free kick. Pre -engaged. They'll tap and go through their number eight, Flanders. Good carry from Devon Flanders. They need that aggression to get on the front foot, do New Zealand to Pai Vaai. Well handled. Lanaki comes across and finds his flanker, Caleb Boshier. Last week he just won the University of Waikato under 20 player of the year, Bird Boshier. They go across field. Das McLeod cuts in. He's held there by Kai Evans. New Zealand with Ollie Norris. Scored a try against Scotland. Just trying to get a little bit wider on the attack. Another pick and drive up the middle. Williams. Such an aggressive player. for Naki. Spins through a couple. Tofa for Naki. Played in all three matches that year. Shana Rugby Under 20 Championship. The experienced veteran as Tamati Williams goes in again. Norris at first receiver. New Zealand doing well to keep it tight with their forwards. Five meters out now. Funaki got Burke on the outside. Fergus Burke, a little stutter step. Tries to skip around and Flewellen with a tackle. With here as they come. Flying Anuku. Inches closer. New Zealand with their captain, Kereru Symes. 12 phases. Wales have had to defend. As Norris takes it in for the third time. And Wales come good inside their 22. Defend it for 14 phases and get the penalty. Here's a captain too, Dawi Lake. Straight on their ball. Great time and great positioning. Great continuity by New Zealand, but in the end, that man there sacrificed his body. It was a beautiful turnover. He was wave after wave line, after wave. Line, and Ollie Norris has couldn't release that ball. It was a good run by him, but he got isolated just for a couple of seconds and it allowed Lake to get over it. Wales with possession at the 10 meter mark. They tap down their first line up. And this one also untidy. It's through and kicked by New Zealand. Williams was there. And then well handled. Lovely stuff there from Ryan Conbeer. His third under 20 championship. And they feed it through Tommy Raffle. Plays with the Leicester Tigers. Okay, use it, please, Wales. David Buckland. Chases are there. The aerial battle continues. Good take here from Lamalelo Lamalelo. Scored two tries against Scotland, one against South Africa. He lays it back. So back on the attack for Flanders. McLeod standing flat, looking to keep the Welsh defenders guessing. They go through the back ball and take it wide. Good step there from Cohen Herbert. Certainly enjoyed his play so far. Now up the middle, Fanganuku, bit of space. Red jerseys all around him, but lays it up for Fanaki. The scrum off does the jump step. Outside the 22. Vai. Plays his rugby in Taranaki. Tupaya goes across field. Answers an offer. Not well handled. So Lake dives on this one. Second time he saved the Welsh side. Turning over possession as they go through Ben Warren. 121 kilograms. Cardiff Blue player. No advantage coming. You're fine on the ball there. 
Well, the passing you can see is going to be difficult for both of these sides in these conditions. Going to have to get a little bit close. New Zealand still trying to play the wide game when they can. Just comes off the chest of Tamaiti Williams, but picked up beautifully by Wales. And their defence has been very good, this Welsh team. Fighting Anuku, though, injecting himself so strong as the left winger. Yeah, can't you mention that? Look at the tackles Wales are putting in there. And top of the top Crouch. five tackles in this tournament, three are from Wales. Fine. And they include Tian Thomas Wheeler, Set. Tommy Revel, and Jack Morgan as well. No coincidence, it's still 0 0 with New Zealand. 72% possession. Hold, hold. This kick, front seven, well positioned Thanks. there from Kai Evans. Marches New Zealand back. Yeah, great execution, wasn't it? Just a smart play. Take the nice scrum, punch it down low. So there's no opportunity for a return. Let it skid over the sideline. Look, your forwards are running forward, whereas New Zealand line, have to trudge all the way back. And the line outs are already seen because Wales bad too. Very difficult to negotiate. So New Zealand going short straight away. Step, step Wales. Keanu Keruru signs. Guys, can we open the gap, please? New Zealand set, set a decent gap. Step. Thanks. And you go. He come. starts for the third time in this tournament as the captain from Hawke's Bay. They keep the short numbers and they do well there with Tane Plumtree. Downtown goes Burke. Counter-attack for Wales. They drop this one down. Dion Smith. Hold in front, Wales. Another beautifully timed kick on the left foot there, this time from the wing three-quarter, Smith. He had trouble negotiating hold the gap, hold the gap. this Look where the AR is. kick, but had the great good body position. So if it does drop it, it goes backwards and a nice left foot there. Again, punches it right down. Get that man on the golf course. Doesn't matter the conditions. New Zealand again just outside their 22. Opting for the lineup that works for them. Plumtree. Goes again. Contact in there. New Zealand get a penalty and this will help the efforts go down towards the Welsh Territory. Contact the last, well, the first four-man line-out, they went to the back about seven metres, but this yeah, one they went right. to the front, was a little manip bit of manipulation. On the edge. They fake to the back where they went before, and they go to the front, so the same line-out, two options, smart play. Now they go five men. On the halfway line, NZ. Almost 10 minutes gone, 0 0 the score here. Through the legs it goes. Fanganuku cleans up the left winger in to help out. His brother team up won the under 20 championship in 2017 with New Zealand when they played in Georgia. And this one's been stripped. Wales do wonderful work at the breakdown and they keep it alive. Raffle through the back. And they're just knocked on. Looking for that pass was Evans. I've gone scrum. Oh, it's a shame for Wales. Had a nice set line out too. For the backs. It was good work by Morgan Jones. The second row for Wales. Ripping their ball in contact. Yeah, sure. Make sure you set your own though. It's decent. You're just getting a bit tight. Here it is. He look at the big number four. Just tearing their ball away. Taps it back. They regather his partner in crime. Jack Price. And then the back ball. And it was on too. There's a little bit of a hole. They were staggered. Kai Evans, his father's Yayan Evans, played to 72 Crouch. tests for Wales, 22 as captain, from 87 to 98. Set. And against the British and Irish lines, so. Great winger, he was the man. Oh, Yayan runs, Evans. Runs in the family, and now he's a fly off, so speed to burn as well as New Zealand. Chipped this one over the top, is it too much on that? No, perfect. There's been some good kicking in this game so far, been some accurate kicking. Makes such a difference. From man, from man. On your side, both of these teams. Obviously, something that they've worked on. And multiple options as well. Look at that. Within a meter. Of... Line up, third. One being pinched by New Zealand. Great work there from Tamati Williams to get over that. But Wales again on the ground. All over that, Jack Morgan. 
Yeah, the big number eight there. You see the size of him, of him. immovable. He's in dominating position at the moment, but some couple of nice steals in their own 22 from Wales. The first one from their captain, Lake, and that one there from Morgan, very timely. Well, it's actually Wales, but it falls to New Zealand. Have some good work from Tamaiti Williams. This is an area Wales have struggled. Three lineouts have either been knocked down or taken by New Zealand. They keep it to the front. Very clever stuff there from Lake, the captain. It's chipped over the top by Evans. And Scott Gregory is well positioned. The HSBC Sevens World Series flyer for the All Black Sevens. His first touch, though, goes directly out. Yeah, I think he got caught in two minds here, Scott Gregory. Had a little bit of a look. His natural inclination is to run, put it to the left foot, and Make sure you're doing the out on the full, yeah. Wales hold that gap this time. All five under 20 Good. matches in 2018. We've seen him at six of the HSBC Sevens World Series tournaments, and that one was clearly not straight. Yeah, it's unfortunate for the Welsh team, as you said, Dallin. This is something so far in this game they haven't been able to get right they've gotten some great positions yeah, through some five. nice kicking last two have been great and it's a good pressure just unfortunately just letting them down yeah. just a tad at the moment but i'm sure they'll correct that the scrums have been pretty even so far Crouch. only had one i think five they had questions on this set a couple of games so i'm sure wales want to ask some right here Stable from New Zealand. Funaki goes to Burke and again. Old eight and looking seven. for that left hand touch Thank line. You, it spirals down inside the 22. Good looking kick. As Smith returns the favour. But it could be a lineup for New Zealand and they're back on attack. Both things using this little punch with the kick just to okay, make it skid on this deck and make it difficult to negotiate for the opposition. Slippery, slippery conditions indeed, but again, this is a 4G artificial pitch used just a couple of weeks ago for the opening match day. New Zealand do well with Flanders. Fanganuku looking for work again from the left wing position. And now Vaai, the tall timber 19 year old, into the contact. Revel can't stop him. Burke very flat to Paya. Spills this one in the contact. Wales, who've been excellent on defense, okay, hold. and particularly at the breakdown as well. They look to dig this one out. Still knock on advantage. Taking it up there with Jack Price, and Price is thrown back by his opposite number. The ball kicked no through for Naki, but the advantage. Yeah, never any advantage for Wales here, but look at that offensive tackle from Tamaiti Williams. Lowered his shoulder on Jack Price, bringing a bit of aggression. And that four pack for New Zealand. Here's the half break from Quintu Pye. Nearly gets through, gets over the advantage line, just loses the handle as he goes to deck. And look at that. Low numbers getting dirty. Well, that's certainly what you want from your tight forwards. Crouch. 15 minutes gone, 0 0. Right. In this fifth place semi final. Wales chip it over the top with Evans. Gregory picks this one up. Scott Gregory, the fullback, reads the play nicely. Now they attack the short side. Kalen Boshier. Flanders at first receiver. Wasn't held, and the tackle can go again. Beautiful ball back on the inside. Looking for work again. Lester Fanganuku has been very active so far in the opening stands up. Kereru Sainz ducks down in a low hit. This one from McLeod goes down to Wales again, and there's nobody back home, so the kick over the top is a good choice. New Zealand with their fly off, Fergus Burke. Hold then, hold black. Now on. Comes all the way down here to Ewan Davis. To his opposite fullback. 
Gregory on the left boot and well certainly won't mind that. They will get the line up. A little bit of inside pass from step off, step off. Tofa Funaki. You want to see the influence he's having on the game, the number nine, but also as you see Lister flying Anuku. Not waiting on his left foot, and he wants to get amongst it. And the near is equal, but the turnovers for Wales well ahead at the moment. Almost won it by Wales, and it's certainly an area that New Zealand are capitalizing. Yeah, and you see the frustration. Morgan Jones here just shaking his head. Unfortunately, not straight for them again. Just spacing, guys, getting tight that side. Keep it, please. I like the option Wales showed last time. A little, little chip over the top, and nearly bounced their way if it did. Matthew was gone, so New Zealand very flat as well. Funaki comes to McLeod. He drops Back this one, so it's been kicked through by Tian Thomas Wheeler. Well, sliding this post here, and here goes Tian Wheeler. He's in! Tian Thomas Wheeler gets the first score of the game against the run of play. And the Welsh are breathing fire here in the rain. Well, you can see the difference in game plan. The Welsh just wanting to kick it downtown. New Zealand trying to play. McLeod couldn't take the handle. From the scrum, just kicked through with the left foot from Tian Thomas Wheeler. Try to clean it up in the difficult condition was Boshier. Does it. But this guy, he makes sure of it. Tian Thomas Wheeler. Reward for hard chasing. Good composure too, just to tap that a little bit. Nice. Thomas Wheeler, fantastic finish. Played two matches in last year's competition. The man from Ospreys gets the first five for Wales. And it gives Kai Evans a chance, and he's up for the Golden Boot Award. Currently a top point scorer with 37. From the far left-hand touchline, strikes it well, and just shaves the upright. 5-0, under 20 minutes gone. And it's Wales on the board first. Well, even though their line-out's not working properly, they're in the right end of the field, so if a mistake comes, as it did there from New Zealand, they're ready to pounce, and they took their opportunity. It's been on the back of some great defense. They've had to make a lot of tackles with the plated in the right end of the field. Yep. Burke changes his side, comes down to Davis. Good relieving touch line. It puts New Zealand back towards the halfway line. Yeah, great exit plate from Wales with a number of kicking options which is always a luxury oh, and Davis here showing he's got a good right boot this looks a bit like Lee Halfpenny with that scrum cap runs like him as well Halfpenny one of the graduates of this under 20 competition oh, if he runs like Halfpenny look out <laughs> he was pretty awesome absolute legend for the man in red in New Zealand what can they come back with big contact in midfield them to Pia, the 20 year old from Waikato was in there. Now Burke takes it to the line. Second time this game he's looking to threaten more of a distributor earlier in the tournament as Williams gets hit low there by Lake. It's the only way to bring down the big unit. Boshier. Nine from it. fullback into help and halfback for Naki, man who plays with Auckland. He's kicked just outside the 22. Perfect. Follow up by New Zealand. They hit her with Herbert. It's all backwards. So Beef Buckland under pressure. The halfback. It stays though with the defending side. Ben Warren in there as well. Nine use it. The 18 year old. Timing, it's not out yet. No. That's got to be out. That's out. So to put this one. To use and his rolling kick finds Gregory. Scott Gregory. Beautiful line and then just ball pops out in between two defenders. Opportunities like that will keep this Welsh side well and truly in the game. You know they can make those hard tackles. 
Yeah, such Turn a up. physical game against no advantage. Argentina to open their tournament, which they won 50-25. Well, because of these conditions, the pitches don't really show how much yeah, no at all. it is raining here. And on this pitch, it does make it very treacherous with handling. And the ball's getting on the ground, so everyone has to get a little bit a little bit closer. Scott Gregory, a nice run back. He needs to just take that ball in with two hands. You can see double tackled there from Wales against a nice bit of defence from then causing that turnover. If you use it quickly, I can give you continuity there. But if it takes ages, then I'll just come back. Yeah, Katie, you're talking about some of the graduates of this program. What Crouch. a team at Sam Warburton. Jonathan Davis and Gareth Davis. Set. So brilliant servants for Wales over the years. But the scrum here is attacked by New Zealand. And they get the penalty. Just reward. And look at the facial expressions of that pack. Well, no teams, well, opposition teams have targeted the scrum of New Zealand. So that's a win for them. No doubt about that. I think Tamaiti Williams has definitely made a difference up front. Not only for the score responsibilities, but outside of that as well pressure comes straight on there great timing and shove from new zealand new zealand opting to take the potential three points on offer they did this against south africa and I know you and I had a question about that in that game. Yeah, very different situation, though. They needed to score points for their own confidence. But here, you know, it's going to be close. You're going to have to take every point on offer. And this will just settle them down a bit, New Zealand, get them into the game. It's always relieving when you get off the zero. Especially in these wet conditions. And Fergus Burke pulls this one to the left-hand side. It'll be a 22-meter dropout for Wales. Just make sure everyone's behind. So a little off there for the Welsh side. There's Kai Evans. The man who returns from the 2018 competition. He played in all five games there. Goes deep. Flanders is there. Bashes it up against three Welshmen. And the number eight wins the collision. Vaai. Wales sending two to three players to stop the one of carries from the Kiwis. Flanders again against Captain Tackle Lake. Now. They have to go to the air. They're struggling to go forward on New Zealand. Okay, now on. Lovely, lovely. Well, chases down here. Yeah, Evan skips out of the first, but the two black jerseys there that bring him down. Both shears over this. Lamalino, Lamalino, a real nuisance at the breakdown. He's turned it over for the Kiwis for Naki. Now back on attack, Oli Norris. Unaki wants to come back to the short side. Keneru Symes go forward possession. As they work the phases, good ball through the hands and passing in the contact. New Zealand back to the left and their forwards, hard running Williams crashes into the line. He really has injected himself in this game so far. Big carry there, bump from Quintapaya. But again, all over it. It is the captain. Derry Light gets up last. He has second turnover for this half. Holding. Derry Lake. A couple of times they had a nudge, did Wales. I thought Jack Morgan wasn't too far away from getting one as well, but. Just the second man in for New Zealand, just a little bit too slow. He's going to run up to the teeth of the Welsh. Four pack, you've got to have someone directly on you. And the tackle stats for Wales must be mounting up. New Zealand have had a lot of possession. But majority between the two 22s. But look at this here. Quintu Pyre. Nice run. Go, straight over the ball. Didn't dominate the contact. The second man. In. Come on. Come on. Yeah, in terms of the tackles as well, 75 tackles made by Wales, 18 by New Zealand, and you mentioned that in your statistics. It's been 
a tough 26 minutes for Wales have weathered the storm defended superbly and scored the lone try but New Zealand kings at the line out so far in this game late comes through this one pilfers possession for his side and a jump step there from Gregaines plays with the Dragons You're fine, he's great on the ball. Go back to the knock-on. And first knock here for New Zealand, but again, they're just proving trouble in the line-out for the Welsh throwers. Right. Yeah, it's been an issue for them, hasn't it? No doubt about that. I'm sure that's something they'll try and readdress at the half, but at 5-0 up, I'm saying they're pretty happy at the moment, this Welsh team. Just getting up in front and reading that one, New Zealand. Just the awkward bounce there for Funaki to take, but again, the captain. Oh, we late, having a fantastic game. And there's the tackles. That the Welsh have had to make Crouch. 75 compared to 18. Look at this unusual setup now from the Welsh team. Set. Did this against one of their pool clashes against France, and this time Evans spots a gap. Guy Evans halfway through. There's Herbert, offers the tackle. Now, to standing start there is fullback Johan Davis. New Zealand. Get over this one. It's Wales. They get isolated. Yeah, Caelan Boshier, the number six. Unfortunate for Wales because when they hit it up, they had numbers there, but once they slid off because of the rough conditions, they gave an opportunity for Caelan Boshier to get straight over that pill. Wait, wait, yeah, we'll wait. You want? They did have numbers there initially, did Wales. This Welsh side has done really well in their first year with Gareth Williams in charge, the Wales Sevens coach, head coach for six seasons, and assistant coach as well for many years. John is to stop the game. So, do you want me to take the players inside? Okay. There's the line out. Yeah. Inside, fellas. Just for the storm, we'll come back out when it's clear. been told there's potential lightning or thunder so we'll go inside well, it looks It'll like we're going to we'll go back and get off the field look like potential lightning is an issue so the players safety is paramount so we're off okay. 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 i think we're all right but these poor blokes running around in that and so the calls come from up top let's get out of here so teams leave the field 5 0. Oh, keep the mark for the penalty. Wales meet New Zealand. Yeah. Middle of the first yeah. half here, and again, tough conditions. We've seen near perfect ones on the first three match days, and we knew it was bound to rain this week. It will have a big effect how teams change their tactics, but that's also what you love about rugby. You have to play in all sorts of conditions. We have to be adaptable, that's the thing. It's not always played in perfect conditions, not always played over a roof. So this is the thing these young kids in these competitions learn. It's a great proving ground too. So they'll go away. It's probably a good time for the coaches to go and talk to their squads and just reassess how this first 25, 26 minutes has gone. And to be fair, there's a decent crowd that's turned up for these conditions. Yeah, they have. Now they've been told to leave. They were going to come back as soon as we're safe to resume. We're really impressed also with the uh, Argentine side. They've done superbly and they've really drawn in the numbers too, you know, selling up the last match day. Oh, as always, they're going to be up next too. It's Argentinian team. There we go. Play has been suspended. Talking about that, we're actually in a scaffold. <laughs> I don't know if we are safe. Quite high up as well. Anyway, if you don't hear our voices in the next little while, somebody come look for us. 5 0 Wales lead. But uh, looking at that coach, coaching staff, Craig Philpott for New Zealand, he's third year as head coach. He got them to the title in 2017 with a record victory against England, 64-17. This year, though, they've certainly struggled, and we picked that up in some of the pool games, especially early on against Scotland, when Scotland were able to run in five tries against New Zealand in that pool clash. Yeah, they've had some issues, no doubt about that. But, um, you know, they've only lost one game so far. He's got uh, David Hill with them also to go so, through some of the replays here of the game so far. And this is a try from... The Welsh Tian Thomas Wheeler, who's just so aware. Great reward for some good chasing. Very much against the run of play. That's what you mentioned. Conditions coming to the play, and it's following up. 
Just the ball lost back in. And actually, it was Thomas Wheeler that got the kick through and the chase. Yeah, there was some nice defense from Kai Evans, too. The first five just caused the New Zealand attacker to have a little look up before he secured, uh, secured the ball. And this guy just straight onto it. Look at that there. They had three Welsh numbers, in fact. You think it's covered here. Just off the knee, unfortunately, of Bo Shea. And he couldn't get back in time, whereas this guy puts it down nicely. Delight for Wales, up by five. And it's always tricky when you, you're told to slide on the ball at all levels of rugby, but in the slippery conditions, that often happens, gets knocked back. And presence of mind there from Tian Thomas Wheeler, the 19-year-old, to get through. Played cricket for Wales at the younger levels, and here he is doing the stuff in the game of rugby. It takes a lot to be able to have that composure when you know there's a lot of defenders coming around. It's a good skill. Advantage over for knockoff. So play is temporarily suspended due to adverse weather conditions. We'll be back with you shortly. Stay with us, though. It is Wales that lead New Zealand 5-0 in this fifth place semi-final.
contar que va a ganar la casa en el partido, sí. Estás acá igual con lluvia, sí, lluvia, decíselo al mundo. Mandá mensajes de apoyo, opiniones sobre el juego. Fotos desde la tribuna, seguidas a Twitter, a Instagram, usando el hashtag World Rugby U20S. Lisa, es un escaso, contáselo a todos. Estás acá en el hipódromo de la ciudad de Rosario, provincial. Back on in Rosario, Argentina for this fifth place semi-final at the 2019 World Rugby Under-20s Championship. And adverse weather conditions have held to play for just under an hour. Lightning strikes within the six mile radius and safety. The fans and players had to go to the sheds. Uh, they're back right now and it's Wales that lead New Zealand to 5-0. The lone try from Tian Thomas Wheeler in the 18th minute. And we're just under 12 minutes to go in the first 40. I'm down in Stanford, joined alongside by New Zealand rugby legend Carl Tanana, and it's been a real tussle, hasn't it? Oh, most definitely with the conditions that uh, greeted us here today. On match day form, Rosario, it is wet, it is treacherous, but both of these teams, be interesting to see how they come out, because I thought Wales had the ascendancy before the break, so it's probably something New Zealand have needed, they've gone away and had a couple of handling errors, so this will probably be interesting to see how both of these teams come out. Turnovers won 6 1 for Wales. It's really been the story there, but they've had to make 75 tackles to 24 to New Zealand. And they will be on the right side of your screen. The winner will play the winner of Ireland against England. That'll take place at the old Regions venue that's nearby here at 3 30 local time this afternoon. It's just afternoon here in wet and slippery conditions. But the fans have come out because following this, the two semi-finals will take place. The home side, Argentina, Australia, and then France, South Africa. Our referee is ready here. It's Christopher Ridley from England. And we're going to start with the penalty to New Zealand. That took us to that lightning strike break. And they find themselves inside the 22, looking to strike. Sure you've got time. Take the line. 
And there's a replacement on for Wales too in Jersey 22. Rio Dyer has come on to the field replacing Tian Tom, uh, sorry, Max Llewellyn who's gone off. New Zealand go to the mall. Advantage. They drive through and they get advantage. Cohen Herbert. <laughs> Collapsing the mall. Decision time here for the Kiwis. Pulling players out, trying to collapse the mall. In a similar position, they started to go. Go for the post, but now I think this is a better decision. Try and keep on the pressure. They've been down, down here, limited opportunities. Mind yours, fellas. And their line has been pretty successful so far in New Zealand, so maybe a drive coming. Keanu Kereru Symes. Full line out for New Zealand. Plumtree was lifted. They've gone to the front and they have timed that poorly. Yeah, the core just getting confused there. And there's a huge let off for Wales. Yeah. Twice New Zealand have been in the 10 meter zone of the try line from Wales and twice they've turned the ball over. This one not out. The chance here for Fanganuku to find his fullback, Scott Gregory. Steps his way to the halfway line. Tackle. New Zealand has struggled to get over the advantage line. This time it's a good wide pass on the outside there. Lovely stuff to Devon Flanders. Now it's Plumtree. Still picks and goes, turned over. Wales have done this all game long. It's coming. Knock on scrum. New Zealand knocked it on. Geez, that was a nice pass there from Tamaiti Williams to get the ball on the outside and found a little space too. Again, ball handling, double tackle, yeah, ripped off. away. Yeah. Just wait for the lock. On the time deck off. from Greg Haynes. Guys, is, is the screen down or does someone just need to uncover it and turn it back on? Just ask the question. Getting attention. Okay. As long there as is David there. Buckland and one of his teammates. We're in 23. Sam Koslo okay. is on the field. He's the one that replaces McHowellen. And his father Gareth won 92 caps for Wales in the second row, played in three rugby world cups. He will certainly be missed in this game. Well, the possession there totally on the side of New Zealand territory as well, but they haven't been able to turn that into points, unfortunately for them. Wales doing a good job scrambling in defence. Some nice timely turnovers. A miscue at the line out from New Zealand also. All good, guys. The two Pavai, the number five is down for New Zealand. Here's the hit and rip. That spacing, scrums are really good. Yeah. Oh, Wales have been really good in this department. Oh, Dallin's been, had a stable scrum and been able to just kick it right downtown and turn New Zealand around. Bind. Well, if Laugh Kai Evans has been excellent with that, he turns 20 this coming week. Okay, hold. That's hold. Gregory here comes down and taken there by Lalamilo Lalamilo. Nine news is outside. He's 22. Shapes up for a box kick. Timing's Under good. pressure there from Buckland. It's been knocked down to the well side. The ball's available. Knock on offside. But offside play the call. Oh, it's unfortunate there for Wales. All the good work done with the pressure on Funaki. The ball was just tipped by Buckland, I think it was, and the player coming back on side. The try score, Thomas Wheeler, just couldn't help himself. So, not accidental offside. The kick doesn't find touch. It's an error from New Zealand's fly off Fergus Burke. And it's little things like that that keep the Welsh side up by five points. Yeah, key moments, isn't it? You have to do the basics and execute. And I'm sure this guy here, Kai Evans, will send along. Burke finds his number eight in Flanders. Flanders just had that one game in the Oceania and a 20 championship against Fiji. And he's coughed that one up. Big contact coming in on Koslo. Welcome to the game. 
Ball stays with the men in red. Counterack not coming through as Buckland finds his forward pack. He's even eager to turn this around. Nine, use it. Evans very deep. And Buckland goes with the box kick, and that's out on the full. Well, both teams at the start of this game were very good with their kicking, Dylan. But the rip has been the thing Great for there, me. Thank you. That the Welsh team have done very well. From man. So far in this first half in the tackle. Three or four times I've been able to turn that ball over like that in that situation. Six, and in there as well. As you'd expect in these conditions, always got to be high. Yeah, it should be. And Jack Morgan was the one there for Wales. They've got the turnover. Former under-18 captain for his country. And then from NZ in the last seven minutes of the first half. They've had one missed penalty attempt. More. He comes around to the right hand side and Kerry Rusarms is tackled by Buckland. I think he broke away Nika, didn't he? And Lala Mila, so just attacking. such a threat. It's also the size of a fridge. As they go to Vai. New Zealand building the phases through Flanders. Released and picked it up. Got to his feet and he's able to play with the ball. New Zealand behind the ball to Burke, Backwards. it's skipped through there, two pie off the hands, and Gregory, ball's been kicked through, this is how Wales scored their first try, and hacked downfield, it's soccer skills are plenty here in Rosario, tied it up there nicely by Dallas McLeod. So New Zealand retreat. They can back, hold black. And for Wales, just one player back for the counter-attack, Combia. Massive collision there with Lalamilo, Lalamilo, but he makes him sit down. The wide ball. Fumbled by Kai Evans. A stunning breakout, though, from Wales. Oh, and it looks like Combeer's taking a shot, too, to his right arm. It was a huge bit of contact between him and Lalamilo. The head numbers on the outside, I said it well. Kicked downfield by Dion Smith. Um, we, th we thought he'd broken away. And the hand so we thought from Tamaiti Williams getting back the big number three. Yeah. If he doesn't get his ball here, look at this contact. Nothing wrong with that. So strong as Ryan Combeer. If he draws and passes there, and if Tamaiti Williams doesn't get his hands there, that's Welsh, the uh, Welsh team's second try. Look at those tackles made. Getting there at three to one. 10 kilograms of difference in size between Convia and Lala Milo, but look at this collision. Yeah, they brace for both for it. Lala Milo goes down, chest up rather than shoulder in. <laughs> sure that health has to be as the foremost. Priority, so Lalo Milo, I'd assume, had to go off for an HIA minimum. Look at this, and two fingers. Shows you how strong Ryan Combeer is as well. Change Didn't even flinch. Oh, no, he's tough. Good Lalo Milo, he's getting back. Oh, he smokes. The Welsh, they're looking very good, aren't they, Dallin? I've been impressed with them. What's their yeah, hunger at the breakdown? And the ball bounces any sort of way here in these slippery conditions, and they've used that to full effect. One try so far to the men in red, and now they find themselves back on attack inside the 22, but they won't have possession for New Zealand to clear their lines. And Bind. Lamalilo Lamalimo is to his feet. Three tries so far for the winger. Say that. McLeod. Set up the first phase. In fact, this is where the ball was stripped last time, and it was the defender who scored. Thomas Wheeler. Use it. Vanaki goes downfield. Davis goes up and crunched in the tackle. I'm okay, says Lala Milo. Use. Kensley. Matthias half held up by Plumtree. 
forgery gather and big tackle there on Lake. Captain Wales for the first time against Italy in the under 26 nations this year. Evans under pressure, so his kick doesn't go very far. Fanganuku had it, dropped it. Wales will take possession. The black Run about the halfway off. line. This chess game continues. Evans, yes. full lineup of players to the left hand side. Now they shift it through, and again, another strong tackle. Jack Morgan. Dropped like a sack of potatoes. As Evans turns Scott Gregory around. Fullback's well positioned. Gets himself a better angle for the kickback. Okay, hold black. Well, this will be a gain for Wales, though. They have a liner at the 22 minute mark. Yeah, again, Kai Gage, Evans 14. just turning the New Zealand team around, making the trudge back into their he corner. Great there. kick by him. Here's the big okay, defense again to Mighty. Williams down low. To Povai over the top, just pushes Jack Morgan back. He's been very strong in this game as well. Sorry, fellas, we're ready to start again. Ready to go again, lads. Thanks. Sorry. I think New Zealand have really gone away and checked their physicality really because again. in their last pool game against South yeah. Africa, that was an issue for them. So, nothing the bell at the moment, but this Welsh team in great position here. The liner has been good so far. So New Zealand they will have Rives Rehana on the field. Get injury assessment for Lala Milo. Both players, one player used on the bench so far. Use it. New Zealand clear their lines. Will step there from Smith. Dion Smith did well. Forwards survive now as Boshia tries to get it back for New Zealand. Over there. I think it's the issue here is this Devin Flanders Two number eight. Again, a strong return by Dion Smith, the winger. I think this might be another head clash. Shot call. Look at the strong return by Dion Smith. Does well to evade the first defender. Oh, it just cops the shoulder. Does Devin Flanders. Dion Smith. Like the way the Welsh winger uses left foot step and it goes in hard. Looks like just a head clash to me, Brian. And Katie, that's the height, unfortunately. Flanders was caught too close to the tackle zone, kept his height, and then just copped one to the head. And big distance here for Kai Evans. Penalty attempt. And this guy's really controlled the tempo of the game. Here's Kai Evans at first side, kicked well in general play. And it's a smart decision too, because even if he isn't successful, he's going to be in the right end of the field. New Zealand are going to have to kick it out from the 22. Evans just falls short with that strike. Not a bad attempt. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Keeps New Zealand out here in the 22 meter area. He keeps him stuck down this end of the field with only a minute to Make go sure in this high. half. So Wales would assume for able to take this ball, have one more opportunity to attack. It's New Zealand that lead the head to head 7 1. Last time Wales won was in 2012. Right now they're looking to make their own history in this tournament. Evans. Yeah, I see. Up and under is taken there by Rehana. 12 in front of the kicker. But of course they were offsides. There was Tian Thomas Wheeler. Front, kept moving forwards. New Zealand probably go to the line out here and have, which has been pretty good. Try and get some points before the half. I think anything they'll take it at the moment. I think he's just come so off actually. Number 12, yeah. Change. Just at yeah. the top of the screen, Tian Thomas Wheeler. Step back. Tamal in front. Right. Hang on, lads. Hang on. Hang on. Line up. What's your numbers? What's your numbers? Six called. If you step into the line out again and delay us, I'll just free kick you. Stay out. Got to keep that need in the line out. Meanwhile, Eteni Nana Satoro, wearing 27, has come onto the field for New Zealand. And he's replaced Scott Gregory. 
at the front. More. Flanders was the one that took it, and Kereru Symes peels away by Isaiah in support. Plumtree ducks down. Herbert wants to attack the line. Does well under immense pressure from Tommy Raffle. Burke thought about throwing the flat ball, and there it is. Nana Satoros kicks charge down. Goes back in to collect this and slips towards the touchline. That time, Brian? And that'll bring us to half time. It'll be a short half time, just five minutes. And it's Wales that lead New Zealand here in Rosario, Argentina, during the fifth place semi final at the 2019 World Rugby Under 20s Championship. Uh, everyone's cracking on with line outs, and you just learn every line out. I know, I know what you're saying, but no one else is. Advantage over for knock on. Advantage over for knock on. over for knock on. Advantage over for knock on.
It's match day number four in Rosario, Argentina, with Wales in front by 5 nothing against New Zealand after 40 minutes of action in the fifth place semi-final at the 2019 World Rugby Under-20s Championship. One try the difference scored by Tion Thomas Wheeler. And I'm down to Stanford alongside former All Black Sevens captain Carl Tanana for this one. And Wales looking to make history. It was 2012, the last time they beat New Zealand, the only time, 9-6. Here, playing so smart with, with the rugby. Uh, the Welsh hence why they lead, but these two teams have to deal with some adversity. They had hours, rain breaks, rain breaks, so they've had to deal with that. They have to come back, had a short half-time break there and straight back into it. So it's a lot for these guys to learn off in this situation. So it'll be interesting to see how both teams react to that. We tried lightning, delaying play there. Fans and players leaving the field there. We look at the results earlier for this Welsh side they beat Argentina 30-25 a phenomenal result by them they lost to France 32-13 and then beat Fiji 44-28 they finished third in their pool in New Zealand 2-1 beat Georgia Scotland and lost to South Africa It's second half action here at the race course stadium in Rosario as New Zealand kick from right to left, trailing 5 nothing against Wales. Big kick downfield by the Welsh into touch. Geez, that's a nice exit play from them. Huge uh, territory gain. And New Zealand, their results were 45-13 against Georgia in the pool stages. They beat Scotland 52-33, scoring eight tries, but conceded five. Then they lost to South Africa 25-17, finishing second in their pool. And that's why they find themselves here in the fifth place semi-final. They go short. Big, strong carry up there from Sammy Penny Finau on the field. New Zealand have had a few changes, and Scott Rigg is the one that left earlier with an ankle injury. As Rives Rehana on the field there as well. And Funaki bursts around the fringes. Fina is just on as a temporary replacement, but Galio Pasi Uila Kepper is on the field. Five. And he is a solid unit to bring on. This kick has been taken and challenged in the air was Dion Smith. Just a penalty. He always going to be a penalty there, challenging in the air and taking taking him out. And Sami Pini Fina, the place can be a. HIA at the moment for Dylan Flanders, who caught one just before the half. I just think the kicking from this Welsh team has been very good and the difference at the moment in this game. And that, as soon as I say that, has gone over the in goal. I can see that one dead. But you're so right, it was exact that exact same spot where he's off the number Fergus Burke. Didn't find touch in. Wales were let off there. This time they return the favour, and New Zealand will take a scrum just here, short of the halfway line. Uh, referee Christopher Ridley from England has the mark. So a rejig back line for New Zealand with Scott Giggory off, and Rivers Rayhana will take his place at fullback. Tinanana Saturo will go onto the right wing. Stand up. Space has been okay. Scrums have been fine. We'll just bring Gage again. Nice Let's kick. Just, this must have been centimetres, isn't it? Quick reset. See where you're at this side. Winner of this clash will face Ireland or England. They play at the other field Crouch. in the fifth place semi final at 3 30 local time. Set. New Zealand. Set piece attack. Playing Anuku. Takes it to the line. Hammers it in and gets a few extra meters. But that has caused a turnover. He isolated himself and the Welsh, it's an area that they've ruled in this game. Tian, use it. Thomas Wheeler takes the one down, charge down. Ball sits up though for Jack Morgan. Wales carried through Ben Warren. They have Ruckers there to help out. Morgan Jones is one of them. Nine, just wait. And then the relieving kick to Burke. Fergus Burke takes his time and sends through Rehana on the chase. But up to the task is fullback Juan Davis. And Wales looking to move this around with Jones. 
It's flicked up, still available. Matthias, the 19-year-old, made his debut against Ireland, the under-26 nations earlier this year. Kereru Symes gets a head start illegally as Jack Morgan goes into the contact and has been ripped. And here goes New Zealand. Vantage over for Bye. Quick ball to Kereru Symes again. Good pass there. Awila Kepa with the dish. Just behind Dallas McLeod. So he's got to clean things up for the Kiwis. In support there is Nana Satoro. Skipping through the tackle, Oli Norris. Nana Satoro comes around the edge. Gets one bump. And that's what New Zealand need. More aggression when they take it to the line. Be careful by taking the high tackle there on Tupaya. Wheeler Kepper again for the second time. This time he takes him to the contact. And to the right hand side they go yet again. Kereru Symes. Dummy there from Burke. Flicks the ball away. Okay, by red, yes. And for Naki. Advantage knock on. Has this one. It's come off a red player. So just a knock on advantage for New Zealand. Stepped off, play on. Still under advantage. Still have the scrum advantage, says our referee. Best attacking chance so far for New Zealand. Another left-footed step there from Nana Satoro. Seven rounds in the HSBC Sevens World Series he's played. Showing his elusiveness. Wales, though, solid on defense so far. Even Tupaya can't get through. Va'ai. Big unit, 119 kilograms, as is Uwila Kepa. Fourteen phases in New Zealand with Nana Satora, Boshia. They've kept possession. And now Plumtree. Great angle from the lock forward. Burke tries to pump one and loses that one. All the hard work done there from New Zealand to keep it for 17 phases. And it's Wales that come away with it. Yeah, nice. Shot put on there in defence again. Hey, time off. Keep, New Zealand keep asking questions and Wales st still keep having answers. That time was the number nine, David Buckland, with a nice low shot. Targets the ball, targets the knees, comes in hard and causes the turnover. Beautiful work from the little halfback. But it's a nice line also run by Tane Plumtree to get them over the advantage line. More than double well, good. the tackles off. Perfect. New Zealand are Wales. Let's go to the last scrum. Again, New Zealand. When they get down to the Welsh. 10, 10 or 15 metres away from their try line, they seem to make these little mistakes. Nice. So the scramble and defence from Wales has been good. But you wonder how long, Dylan, that they can keep that up. Finau will be on for the rest of the game in the boot here for New Zealand. Devin Flanders is off, I assume, for the HIA. Find. But you're right, KT. You wonder how long Green Wales can 19. hold this. Yes. They get a Green free age. kick at scrum time. 19. Early engage there from Willa Kepa. He's pinged. Yeah, you can see that's a huge relieving penalty just before they packed into that scrum. There was a lot of hands on hips from Wales, as you'd expect. Have to make that many tackles. Have to make sure the touch. No, it stays in the field of play. So two errors from Evans here in the second half. Flying Anuku is chipped over the top, charged down, and stays with New Zealand. Just a little bit higher on that kick would have been a bit of open space. Kereru Symes goes low yet again. Funaki, slow ball, so he decides to go to the air. Broken him like a plastic fork. Relax, boys. Yeah, this might be high, though. We've seen it, we've seen it. We've seen it. From Finau, who's only just onto the field, too. We've seen it. Come on, Wells. We've seen it. He waited and timed it well, but I think just the height might be the issue, so we might have... Something going on here. 
And into the action will come Brian McNeese from Ireland, the television match official. Yeah, I'm ready to see it when you are. Waiting for someone to put it on the big screen so we can have a look at it here. I think Fino might be in a bit of trouble. Well, not if they can't get the video. Right. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No rush. Sammy Penny, Fino. Could be off. Yeah, but he's come off with Devin Flanders at number eight. Very physical player. And the kick went up for Fina, which was a good one. He timed his run, waited for the Welsh player to come down, but I think maybe just the height he got wrong. Yeah, I think this is real wrong, unfortunately, for Sammy Penny Fina. Oh, direct contact to the head. That's yeah, right. and that's what I mean. I don't know what colour this is going to be. Johan Davis is up. Tough kid. But they had a shoulder on head, so I think this might be... Okay, so are you seeing it actually brush across the shoulder first? Yes, it does. Okay, so there's not direct contact to the head. He actually brushes across the shoulder first, so that's a piece of mitigation. It is high danger because he still ends up following through and going through onto the head. Um, also looking at 15's height, that drops quite a significant amount. So based on everything I'm seeing, I'm thinking yellow card on this. Yes, really Happy with that? I'm probably yeah, think yeah, he's no, lucky with a yellow. I'll be honest with you, some opinion for now. Seeing direct, we said yeah. contact was first at the shoulder, but that's, I can't see that. That's right in my book. It's also swinging with the arm coming through. So 21 very well, lucky. Please. I'll explain what we see. Um, so initially you graze the shoulder, but you end up making contact with the head. It's high danger. He's also dropped his height significantly. So that's mitigation. So on that basis, it's a yellow card, okay? No, no, that's fine. You're disappointed when you come on as a reserve player and then you have to go off with circumstances like this. I know physicality is part of the game, but you have to get it right. So New Zealand down to 14 players for 10 minutes. Got to make the touch line this time. He's missed two already. Got to get this correct, and he does. Good there. Yeah, great there. Wales, a bit of confidence from that defensive stance. And at least their fullback, Johan Davis, is okay. And he's fought bravely, has the 85 kilogram fullback. Like, accurate as the mall goes in. What? Javith Buckland controls things. Finds Evans, he'll stab over the top. They've practiced so many times. Oh, it's another monster hit. Two players down. Look at that, Brian. Ball for the line. It's been touched down there by Rehana, but the hits keep on coming. I'm it's Britney Spears of old. Well, it was commitment, total commitment from both players. This is Sam Costello who's come onto the field for the injured match, Kluin. And I think it's Lester Fyngenuku. Okay, Brian, we need so to both of them start. were very committed. Um, I believe it'll be uh, 22, but can we also check if that was foul play or not? You need me to have a look and let me know. You need us to have a look at it, you're happy. Well, it was outstanding commitment. It was a good option, too, with the chip over the top, which they've tried a couple of times. Both just going for the ball, lads. They're both just going for the ball, no problems at all. We've had a look. Can you just confirm the restart for us, please, Brian? I'll do that Katie, that's no, what it looked like.
must be a collision for the ball. Well, here we go here. Both players had eyes and fine look. He looked up late to try and... Okay, it's a scrum black. Yeah, just a little bit of a head right. clash. And they did take that contact. And fine look, was still down. It'll be a scrum restart. Red knocked it on to black. Uh, no foul play. They just ran into each other. That's total commitment from both players. They're going to come in there, putting their bodies on the line. And Costello coming off. Geez, tough kid. Takes one, obviously, to the face. And Whanganuku is finally getting off the deck as well. Well, Whanganuku even lost his scrum scrum cap in that collision. No, it's a bad. From the five, over there. So Rio Dyer will come on the field for Wales. Player for the Dragons and also on the Sevens World Series. Just a temporary blood replacement as Costello gets some attention. Costello, in fact. And then Whanganuku. Oh, he's gone. He's already, he was up before. He was on his feet. Let's see what he decides to do. Okay, scrum on the five, wasn't it, Brian? I'll tell you what, there's some tough kids in both of these teams. Holy smokes. Scrum's from here. It was knocked on in the collision. Sorry, my fault. Bit of confusion. Yeah, that's what that's good. Sorry, my bad. Oh, here we are. Bro, big team set again. Yeah, Lester, Lester playing Anuku stays on the field. Go Davis, the fullback, finds himself in a lovely position and a couple of great stutter steps. Eventually into Plumtree. Feels good, first man. And New Zealand have stolen this one. Tupo Vaai comes away with it, the 19-year-old. Quick ball there from McLeod. Nana Satoro cuts back in field into the tall timber of Jack Price. Played for the Kermarthen Quins from minis to senior level. Boshia with a dummy. Former New Zealand under 19 cricket captain as well. Kiwi's trying to string the phrases together, but there's not much room on the outside. And there's plenty of room, but not many players there. So Burke absorbs another tackle. Taint Plumtree, the man who's born in Swansea. His father, John Plumtree, coached there 19 years ago. Spilt Advantage again from New Zealand. Chance for Wales with Jack Morgan. They keep it in the hand through Matthias. Can play both loose head and tight head as the prop. Evans. Advantage over. Goes to Whanganuku, who limps back with this one. Regathers it, decides to have a crack himself. Beautiful pass away there, absorbs to Topaya. Topaya skips through a couple himself. Defend as well. Strong carry from the outside center. Oh, looking to get the bat rang am going there is Awila Kepa. Ball's out. Ball's out. Time perfectly by Wales. Another turnover, but then the ball sits there for Tupaya. Back and forth to fair. Still six minutes 40 on the yellow card offence for New Zealand. Mark she, is called. She's been a good old contest, hasn't it, at the breakdown there? There's always a risk. Clearly out, isn't it? Turnover after turnover. Wamanuku was involved in that. Last set up, so he couldn't chase that kick away from Tofa Funaku. I think just wanted to get it in Welsh territory. Well, that is not the best looking kick. This is the last little look at it. Yeah, nice hit up by Funaku, but nice offload as well to Tupai, who's shown a lot of strength. Pals out of one, goes around a second, and goes down in a third. Had a good game, the outside centre for New Zealand, Quinn Tupai. Guys, you in. Yeah, for in. Wales, another replacement. Yeston Reese is on the field for Lennon Gregains. 
Meanwhile, on the other field, in the old regions, Italy 26-7, they lead Scotland in their clash. Great steal there from the Welsh. Morgan, because the Lions have certainly struggled during this game. Anton Jova, wait, Evans. wait, wait, wait. Better kick from Hing to Fanganuku. Throws it in field to Nana Satoro. The Youngs Chiefs player in Super Rugby. Goes to the air, sits up here for Evans and Wales to the halfway line. Dewey Lake over the halfway line. Wales get a penalty. They'll be happy to put this one downfield. Just trapping the ball there, Fife. They're just abs well, you landed on the wrong side, so. absorbing play, aren't they? There's no real argument there. Doesn't matter if you're caught there or not. You're slowing down the ball. And it's going to have a shot here. The stop-start nature of this game has really suited the Welsh in these conditions. As we see the yellow cards, Sami Penny for now. He's got another four minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock before he gets back into it. But the Welsh have played this smart, I think, this game. Just kick the corners. Here's the shot. Gets himself corner, uncompromising position. I know he can't roll from there, but you've got to put yourself in their place, and this, that's the result. You're going to get a penalty. Now, this is directly in front, but a good 49 and a half metres for Kai Evans. The 19 year old from Ospreys kicked 20 points against Argentina through six penalties and a conversion. Those were dry conditions. Today, a different story. He looks on, just pulls it to the left-hand side. Score will remain 5-0 after 53 minutes played. Good striker of the ball. Kai Evans with his kicks. I know he's disappointed there, but he had a lot of length on that one. But still, they have all the momentum in the right end of the field now out of the Welsh. Wales will get another chance through Davis. They're holding front, Wales. Big up and under. Knocked on there by Funaki, so they kick through, do the well. They're chasing, this is how they score their first try. Ball sits up. Jesus, is he taking that back too? It's not much Fergus Burke could do about it. This might be a five-meter scrum, is it, for Wales? Yeah, nice kick right from the up and under. Smart play by the Welsh, not playing with it, not trying to go wide. New Zealand have tried to do that, and if you're going to do that in these conditions, you are going to be... Questions on the pass. Hey, that's cool. well, the Welsh haven't looked like doing that. They've used variations on their kick. And these are rewards. Good chase as well from Ryan Combeer. Playing the conditions. Okay, stand up. Let's not crowd the space. Such a different game as they reset the scrum. And the marks here. New Zealand, last time they met Wales, won 42 to 10. The year before, 71 12. So they've been some big old scores. But in wet conditions, Wales prevailed 9-6 in 2012. Fine. It was in South Africa and Stellenbosch. Set. So right now, up by five with attacking scrum. To the line, contact in there on Conbeer. Wales, one quick ball, Lake is waiting. Up there by Reese as well. Counter rook legal. New Zealand try to target this one, and they do. They get the knock on from Jack Price. So Vaai has possession. No advantage coming back for the knock on. Scrum black. Wheeler keeper and jersey number 19 has come on and lent his power. That's for sure. He's the one that went straight through the middle on the counter ruck for New Zealand. Back for the scrum, lads. Scrum. Knock on. Black. No need to rush here for New Zealand. Just execute your exit play and. Eke out time on the clock. There it is there, the big man. It's coming through the it's middle of that right, ruck. It was awkward speed. for Jack Price to take. Let's it was on. His momentum was rocking back. New Zealand look to clear their lines. Crouch. Bind. Set. <laughs> Wales lost to most of the tackling with the carries. Oh, this one stuck. Good little pickup, though, from New Zealand. 
And it was Rives Rehana, distant relative of Bruce Rehana. Magical skills from the replacement player. Yuan Davis cuts the line for Naki, then stings him. Knock on creeping in there from Tommy Riffle. Yeah, two point by targeted the ball on that shot there, there just calls him the turnover he's a, you're right this is an awkward path for Rivers ray hunter look at that had a little look keeps it no knock on and makes ground as well you okay so it's good skills and this is the shot put on right there the first one from two point by two black two you're off well, that's one of those basketball skills you put it through your legs when you're warming up and ray hana fantastic stuff as Shiloh Klein takes the field, you just tell me who he'll the replace captain is, the captain, Keanu Kedudu Symes. Great. All right, let's go. Let's set up then, lads. Knock yeah. on scrum. Yeah. Oh. New Zealand still down to 14 men. Locks in. Locks. Probably one more play, and then they'll get back up to their full complement. So crouch, find. Set. Have done well not to exceed any points. Here come, lads. Down well, they haven't side. really looked like scoring either. And getting down to the last quarter in this game. Here, yeah, Dallin, so down New Zealand. Let's go again. I really want to start being accurate Cross. here. Cross. New Zealand conceding Cross. a try in the 18th minute. Yeah. Tion Thomas Wheeler kicking through. Cross. And we left Cross. the field for just under an hour. Fine. To do Adverse weather conditions to the lightning strikes within a six mile radius. Thirteen, just wait. Rehana. Was he inside the 22? No, it's taken back off the scrum, so they're going to come all the way back. Well, she'd have to assume they've scrambled for everything, tackled like demons, and had to tackle a lot more than New Zealand. In the second half, have been down the right end of the field. They have to start taking their opportunities. I'm closer, that gap's New Zealand back up to their full complement. Sammy Penny now. Careful with his height with the tackling. You're right, New Zealand. Made a steal at the line out here. They go. Made 60 tackles to Wales. There's 150. Funaki's there. And off their feet. Nice. Yeah, sailing the ball off. It was a nice run by Ollie Norris. Loses a wheel too, I think, as he starts running down the pitch. You see there, Darby Lake just talking to Kai Evans, saying, do we want to have a shot here? Lineout's not the best at the moment. And there we go. Good call by the cap. I think if he pushes out to a two-score lead, it's going to be a tough road for New Zealand to come back from there. Look at this run by Norris. There goes the wheel come flying off oh yeah line out win you see they're sealing straight off which is fair enough too you at least try and attain your feet props always like it when they get a line out stat like that line out win oh great stat indeed and the bullocking run oh, you still like a wet foot though oh, nothing worse so, big, big big moment in this game though for me though down for kai evans and this welsh team Big call by the captain Lake to have a shot. But geez, if this goes over, I reckon the confidence of this Welsh team would go unreal. They'll be knocking on the door. New Zealand champions in 2015, 2017, and in the first four years of the comp face themselves in the barrel of Kai Evans in his boot. Get in, says his teammates off the post. It's play on. Finau gets it away to Rehana. And again, another line of attacking chance here for Wales. So while they didn't get the three, they still here with 20 minutes to go. 12, 12 and two. Billy Proctor will come on in the centres for New Zealand. I'm sorry. Yeah, please. Paul Griffiths will come on for Wales and Jersey 27. Looks like he's going to replace the cat.
Will Griffiths. First touch will be Alana attacking at the 22 meter mark. He came off the bench in five of the matches in the under 26 nations this year. Scored a try against Scotland. Slips off there though from Reese. New Zealand locked this one out. Looked like he came out of a Welsh hand initially. Yeah, he's got a call from the assistant referee there. Christopher Ridley. Again, the Welsh team just playing the slope. Here it is off the post. Length, obviously not a problem. Hit up high. Oh, the emotion of it. Look at them watching, watching, watching. Oh. Well, it's so nice to see the Welsh fans coming to support Trouch. their family and Five. sons here in Rosario. Set. Crowd is filling up here for the highly anticipated semi-finals. Argentina will be up next against Australia, and then South Africa, Francis. Evans again puts it to the boot. They're chasing for this one. Mark is called by Rehana. He taps and goes. Wants to go downtown quickly as Evans motors back. Sets up for the fly-off. Again, that educated boot of his goes downfield. Burke fires it back in field. Okay, hold in front, Black. Hold. Rehan off the left Seven boot. Stay. Now what? Finds Davis. It's a tricky little customer, but there's four New Zealand jerseys in front of him. Oh, that man handled him. They're picking it up and taking him to the disco later tonight. New Zealand. Turnover. Yeah, smart play by the Chasers. There was a nice kick by Tene Nanai Satoru. Quintu Pai do some great work as well, taking out the legs of Johan Davis so he can't get his knees to the ground so they don't have to release. Who was going to blink first and end up being well? See there, Tupai goes down low. Tene Nanai Satoru up high. And then the, the, there comes the cavalry. Once it becomes a more. You see that in the seven aside game when they carry somebody in touch. Crouch. Awkward looking for the ball carrier. Bye. Stand up, lads. We're squeezing the space again, just a little bit more. Scrums haven't been an issue. I know you just come on, just hold yeah, on. A lot of reserve now. players on now, so we're just resetting there. There's already been a free kick, so the next one's a free kick. Good clear communication there from the Englishman. Ridley, 11 degrees, rain, slippery conditions here at Crouch. the race course stadium. Bind, set. On that far side there, you can see the taps on the back for he really kept up. It's come on, a bit of difference maker. Since entering the field, there's the big number 19, New Zealand now. Good opportunity to get deep within the Welsh 22. Saw Nick English on the field as well, wearing 18 for Wales. He's the one that went down at scrum time. Shilo Klein from Canterbury. Full line out, New Zealand set them all. Wales sack it. Good pick up and drive there from Vaai inside the 22. The Kiwis have yet to score a point at minute 65. Funaki changes direction. Norris gets the ball away. They got to go low on the big Vaai. Spilled advantage. And the steal again. Wales. No advantage coming. Knock on black. Have another turnover at the breakdown. Lads, relax. That's three or four times the Welsh scrambled and turned their ball over for New Zealand. Their main ball carrier is going to be Tupo Bai, but it's great recognition that Wales know that, so they get straight on the ball. And in this area, they end up in desperate. Uh, one red. Time's off, time's off. No, all good. All good. Onto the field, Reese Davis wearing 17. He replaces Kelmsey Matthias. Davis helped Wales under 18, beat England 
and South Africa in 2017. Now this game, 15 minutes to go. The slugfest continues. Five nothing. Yeah, big Jack Price, the number five, was down there the second row. He's been loving every moment of this clash. He's been amongst absolutely everything. Now, the last two scrums we've had, it's been 50 50 each. New Zealand gave away the yellow card in a similar area. The Welsh has gave away a penalty at a moment earlier. So, both sides on notice, got to be accurate. Wales relying on their 10 players that played last year to bring that experience through as they look to close out this game. Still plenty of time left as Evans' kick comes to Whanganuku in the field of play. Rehana. Nana Satoro gets the pass away. It's been dropped, though, by Billy Proctor. He halfway through, didn't he, to Nana Satoro? Got caught in two minds and tried to offload load it late to Proctor. Sort of defense here, good defense again. During the last defender, saw he created a little bit of space, but Proctor just overrunning it a little bit. As you say, tough conditions. But again, smart play by the Welsh. Good kick and nice chase. Welsh coach Gareth Williams, the 37 year old, won't mind this at all. Crouch. Been on the Sevens World Series for over a decade Fine. and even went to Rio, silver medalist Set. there with Great Britain. The Welsh in these situations have used a little chip over the top as well for the front line of defence. Done it a couple times. I thought, I thought we recovered, but we didn't. Let's just go again. We lack Katie, that's where Kai Evans has been so instrumental in the side. He's one of the veterans that returns. His leadership and guidance. Let's go. He's certainly outplayed Fergus Burke in this game. Well, the thing is, too, when you've got that option, the defence has to rush up and be flat. So if they do that, there's a lot of space. So he has the option to either do the little chip, and if New Zealand cover that, then he can go long as well. Crouch. Heads, lads, heads. Bind. New Zealand, another into the scrum full penalty at scrum time. Second time. Well, that's tough because that was a Welsh put in as well. And new front row basically for both teams. So. No. Good down front man. Step out. And Z. Can they put the phases together and strike? Club tree, excellent take from the lock forward. Wales, last time they sacked it pretty early this time. New Zealand dig it out with Funaki and Tupaya at first receiver. No red. Tackle still come through on Boshia. Brother Lachlan played in the under 20s in 2014. Also plays for the Chiefs in Super Rugby. They work the same side with Klein. Quick ball for Tupaya. Gets his hands free, can't get the offload. Oh, Funaki under entry. immense pressure. Ball's but they concede entry. a penalty, New Zealand. Ball's not lifted, entry. Yeah, I think if he comes from behind, he's fine. It's just because he's come from the side. So New Zealand will go to the line out here. This is their opportunity. Line's yours. Please. Line, fellas, line, line, line. Yeah. New Zealand, set your own gap, lads. I've put them on the line. Set your own gap. Ten minutes to go. Five meter line out, New Zealand. Shilo Klein. They've got Fanganuku in the lineup. That's the winger with the lift as well. Set piece move as they send Cohen Herbert in. Advantage. An advantage for the Kiwis. Fai's waiting on the right hand side if they need him. It's peeling around for New Zealand. Fai. He's over the line. 
It's taken 70 minutes, but Tupo Vai has a try for New Zealand. Yeah, the number, number of involvements from this kid today has been huge. He's been the main ball runner of a lot of these rucks, Tupo Vai. He's got an engine, the big number five. That was caught short a little bit on the left-hand side. One, two, he goes through. Great body position. Finally, New Zealand strike in this clash. We've certainly had plenty of possession and opportunities. And it's the lock forward, Tupo Vai, that gets the first five for them. Fergusburg with a chance to put them up by two. And Burke raises the flag, 7-5. New Zealand finally take the lead. It was a good set-piece play. This is exactly the move that Tony Woodcock scored off in the World Cup final in New Zealand. They tried it, did New Zealand. Herbert coming around into the middle. And from there, just taking their time. There was a hit up, and then they give it wide. Wales led for 70 minutes. They've had three penalties that have missed. As Boshier sets off on a run. Callum Boshier. All the way past the halfway line. Finds Fanganuku, who keeps it in field. The best passenger play so far in this game. Va'ai in there as well. Awila Kepo. Comes around the right hand side. Burke goes for the kick pass. It's been batted down and then into touch. By touch. Well, finally, a bit of urgency from this New Zealand under 20s team lifting the tempo. This is a nice run from Kalen Boshier down the sideline. Good defense as well. Please, yeah, that's great. Okay, when you're ready and you come. It's Greg on the field. It's part of the Exiles rugby setup in the west of England. Six, yeah. Plays with the Dragons. His parents were here supporting him. Had to go back to Wales, though. New Zealand keep possession outside the 22. Tapia, again at first receiver, the battering ram. He wasn't held, so he picks himself up and goes inside the 22. Tapia! To the right-hand side, low one to take for Plumtree. No advantage, knock on scrub. Yeah, Tupai has been very good. Yards after contact, again, been asked to take their ball up. Here's the another look at the try for New Zealand. This gets a little bit wide. You can see they're screaming for numbers to come out left. They don't do Wales and they get caught out. Good body position on, by Tupai. Come on, guys, when you're ready. No need to panic here from the Welsh. They just need to get a solid scrum and Kai Evans to send it down. He's been good with his kicking so far. Crouch. Bind. Now the carries to show the dominance of New Zealand in game line success, but only lead by two. Well, that's the interesting thing sometimes. The stats do tell a large part of the story, but it's a scoreboard that counts. This will help Angle the wash cores move downfield into the last six minutes of this game. Yeah, big penalty that counts in terms of Wales. Just has to find the touchline. He's missed a couple. No need to panic. First job done, just near the halfway. So now the line out there hasn't been good for Not Wales yours, so far. Got to make this one count now. Line outs well. The Welsh had five, lost five. Never good. Just need a good one now. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Go. Four replacements in at the line out, and that is much better. More. Taken there by Yeston Reese, the 19 year old who captain Wales Rod. a couple of years ago.
the well surge forward. There's the leader Cleet in back play. K9, it's stalling. Look to use it now. David Buckland told to use it. Evans, oh, Getty wait, goes to seven. the air. It's high, and the chasers are here. Dyer comes down underneath it. Rehana under pressure. Fanganuku steals it. Leicester Fanganuku skips through three tackles, still goes. Throws the ball that's been kicked back by Rio Dyer for Wales. Still advantage, that's. A couple of little counter-attacks there from New Zealand here in the second half. A bit more urgency, as you mentioned, KT. Pins Wales back. Okay, advantage over. But it's a booming boot of Evans. That finds Nana Satoro. He's got Rehana with him. All in front, Black. Evans goes across field. Looks for Conbia. Conbia skins one. Steps inside to Burke. Wales with four and a half minutes to go. Beautiful offload into Rhys Davis. New Zealand claiming for the turnover, but it stays with the men in red. Wide ball as they look to crack it on through Ed Scrag. Shaped up for the kick there, did Davis then let it go. In from the side, ping there from Tommy Raffel. Well, the pressure put on by that guy, Funaki, so it caused the entry from the side because it was straight onto the ball. There were some nice lines and half holes here from Wales, though. Hey, time off, we're just going to get his boot on. I'll tell you what, Ryan Combi, he's looked dangerous on that left flank for this Welsh team. Yeah, we'll just give him a chance to get on it. Here. Time is off. Just taking it in. Funaki straight on their ball. <sighs> Close. Okay, ready? You've got to feel for Wales. They've just thrown everything in this game. Still have possession, but not on the right side of the field. Inside. Evans kick. That's going to be a penalty. Taking him out late. Kai Evans. Did he go out here? Geez, this could be huge in the context of this game. This is the run from Fanganuka earlier on, but have New Zealand open the door for Wales. One last gasp. We're coming down to the last couple of minutes. Going to go to the line out too, so they're going to be deep in New Zealand territory here. Man, oh man, oh man, New Zealand miss a touch finder. A late shot on Kai Evans now. It's an 80 metre turn. Here it is here. You've got to pull out of that. Wales with their family and fans cheering in the background. Will. Griffith goes over the top to nobody, but of course that. Here we go, one kick to win it. What do you reckon? Closing the gap. Got called. Here we go, KT. Oh yeah, New Zealand two mistakes gave the Welsh an opportunity. Closing the gap, which is fair enough, hasn't been successful yet, but. Doesn't matter if he gets this one. That's the most important one. Well, that's right. You always judged on your last kick. And if you win the game, you'll be carried off this field. This will be the third time ever the beat New Zealand? This will be the second time second. ever. Only other time was in 2012 in South Africa. Wet conditions similar to this. 9-6 Wales beat New Zealand. And the year before, they'd lost 92-0 to New Zealand. So... This is what you love about the under 20 competition. New teams, new faces every year. And Wales on the verge of history against New Zealand. Kai Evans. Remember the name. 8 7. The Welsh will be going absolutely wild back home. 
Oh, when he needed the most, he stepped up. Kai Evans. Brilliant. 45 seconds to hold on for this one. Rio Dyer. A brilliant jump and catch as the forwards now get to work. Tommy Riffle. Forget the lightning that stopped this game for just under an hour. Oh, here we go. New Zealand penalty. Herbert over the ball. Now, do they have a shot or go to the line out? Oh, no. Is it within range in this wet, damp surface? What are we doing, guys? I think you've got to have a shot, don't you? Yeah. It's going to be Fergus Burke, the two tens. Oh, man, oh, man. What a way to finish out this game. It's had everything. It's had lightning strikes. Had a couple of tries. Had some big shots. And now the two tens have had the opportunity to win it for their countries. Oh. Well, we even had a power outage in the whole of Argentina. <laughs> that won't stop these two teams going at it here in the World Rugby Under-20s Championship. Final moment of the game. Oh, she's a tough kick, too, on the angle. Into the rank for Fergus Burke. But this is the times you earn your stripes, Dylan. Wales look on. Nothing they can do but wait for the boot of Fergus Burke. Burke has pulled it. It's a famous Welsh victory here in Rosario, Argentina. Get the champagne out. Their second ever victory against New Zealand. And they've had to wait seven years for this one. It tastes oh so sweet. Congratulations to Wales that beat New Zealand 8-7 here in the fifth place semi-final in the 2019 World Rugby Under-20s Championship. Up next at local time semi-finals.